All right, welcome back to part two. Uh, I didn't realize we were gonna get onto this part, but I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and finish tearing this down the rest of the way. Uh, well, the rest of the way, I mean, I'm just gonna take the front cover off. I'm gonna leave the crank in it, and I'm gonna take this whole thing to the machine shop whenever that time comes. Um, so if you guys, uh, a day or two ago, if you guys tried to watch the live stream, not many people did because it was poor quality, obviously, but posted a picture and this is uh the problem area that i'm talking about um i called a machine shop today and they said this isn't the issue as long as the counterbores are good and if you can tell on this one the counterbore is not it's not very it's it's pitted as well so that's why i think i'm going to take the whole thing uh crank get it polished up have them cut counterbores the ones that need it and do all that whenever it comes time um and then the other issue is the lower counterbore some of those are somewhat pitted as well that one's not too bad um, one of these is worse than the rest because this one has a couple spots if you can see right there and where's it at right there as well so I don't know I know you can fix them but I just don't know the procedure necessarily but as far as I know this isn't an issue right here because in the head there's a uh, expansion cut more or less in the head that goes between here so there's not there's never any pressure that pushes down on this it's only on the liners that go in here so i don't think this is going to be an issue here it's just a matter of getting the counterbore cut here so that the um liner goes in it's got the proper protrusion from it so more or less all i'm going to do this will be a short video more than likely because all i'm going to do is take uh, the front cover off take all the gear and everything out of it put it away in a box, get it ready to go. Um, it'll probably be a while before it goes to the machine shop, but it'll be ready to rock whenever that does happen. And these are all the liners I pulled out of it. And this was, I mean, this was just rebuilt. You can, these don't have hardly any wear on them at all. You can still see the, read the part number on most of them. So I don't know, I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if this is, I don't think it was put together right. I think something, something else happened to it. Why, <clears throat> why? it scuffed up these pistons or these liners um some of these are pretty bad like that right there pretty scuffed up um so i just i don't know these look fairly new like there's these aren't even rusted at all it's been sitting for a while too so who knows but more or less i'm gonna go ahead and take take the front cover off and just get it ready to go put it on a pallet i don't know the timeline of this because i don't I don't know how much this is going to cost me, and I don't really have a ton of extra money to throw into it right now when I don't really have a need uh, for it at this given time. So we're just going to get it finished, tear down, and uh, that'll be it. Alright, she's torn down, 
pretty much all the way. Crank's not out of it. Um, before I do take this off to the machine shop, I, I maybe not. I don't know. I was thinking probably about pulling the uh, the mains, uh, the main caps off, and just making sure that nothing spun or it's not bad or anything. But um, it is stripped down completely, more or less. So it's going to go away for a while, and whenever we're ready for it, we'll we'll be. Uh, it should be, should be good. We'll let uh, we'll let somebody else, we'll let a professional let me know. But I guess that's gonna do it for this video. I don't know what else to say. Um, everything else came off pretty easy. This speedy sleeve on the front took some time to get off. I don't understand why there was a ridge on the outside. I don't know if this is a common seal. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, everything else looks decent. Sprayed this down with some homemade. Uh, fluid film kind of stuff and covered it up and to cover the deck i'll probably wind up putting this in a in a trailer or something until we're ready for it heck i might even go drop it off i don't really know right now but that's where we're gonna leave it so appreciate you guys watching and uh we'll see you all in the next video thanks guys